In this video, you will learn what you can do with the machine learning library ESP WHO, and which microcontrollers, development boards and devices are supported by this library. At the end of the video I will also tell you something about my personal experiences with this library, and what advantages and disadvantages this library brings with it. But first some information about the company Espressif and the ESP chips for which the ESP WHO library was developed. Espressif Systems is a publicly traded multinational fabless semiconductor company founded in 2008 with offices in China, Czech Republic, India, Singapore, and Brazil. The company is focused on developing state-of-the-art wireless communication, low power and IAT solutions. Espressif manufactures ESP8266, ESP32, ESP32S, ESP32C and ESP32H series chips, modules and development boards. The chipsets are popular for their wireless computing capabilities and low prices. By providing development tools and libraries free of charge, developers can quickly create solutions for smart connected devices. In line with its current ESP chips, Espressif offers the ESP WHO library based on a free MIT license. The machine learning library supports the development of motion detectors, face detection up to face recognition with ready-to-use models for human or cat faces. Thanks to the ready-made machine learning models, it is possible to program a face recognition application within a short time. Together with the network libraries included in the ESP IDF software, you can easily integrate your device into home automation or cloud projects. Currently, the ESP WHO library supports the MCU types ESP32, ESP32S2, and ESP32S3. The ESP32S2 and ESP32S3 chips use the newer Extensa 32 bit LX7 CPU which includes an additional instruction set to accelerate AI applications. ESP WHO also includes an example for the ESP S3i board that uses this AI accelerator. At the heart of ESP WHO is the ESP DL Deep Learning Library. ESP DL provides APIs for neural network inference image processing, math functions, and deep learning models. To create your own models, Espressif also provides the necessary tools and examples. A tutorial using the popular MNIST model is available on GitHub. To create your own models, however, you need to be well versed in the basics and tools for machine learning. Beginners should use the ready-made models from the library. ESP WHO provides support for face recognition and face detection, motion detection and color detection. ESP WHO also includes the ESP SR sound recognition library. These audio routines additionally provide wake word recognition and recognition of English and Chinese audio commands. The library includes some examples in the areas of face detection and motion detection. There are sample programs with terminal output, LCD display or web server output over Wi-Fi. ESP WHO is portable and can be used directly on many different development boards. Via the SDK menu configuration the project configuration can be adapted accordingly. Here, you can see the supported development boards. I have done a few projects with the AI Thinker ESP32 CAM and ESP I development boards, and have to say that I was very pleased with the results on the AI Thinker board. Projects with the M5 stack boards are also very interesting, because you can use the extensive M5 software libraries. ESP WHO also brings a variety of device drivers for cameras and LCD devices. Here is the list of directly supported camera devices. The cameras are all inexpensive devices with resolutions in the range of 0.3 to 5 megapixels. Generic drivers can also be used to integrate other camera types. One of the easiest camera modules to program is the Type OV2640. But here you have to be careful, because this device is no longer produced and there are many different types with different orientations. 
the list of directly supported display devices is quite long. Small OLED and LCD displays as well as TFT controllers are supported. The devices can be selected directly via the SDK configuration. In addition to the display and camera peripherals, ESP who also offers the input option via multifunction buttons. This means that you can control several functions with one button. The control of LEDs with different blinking effects is also possible. Finally, I would like to briefly discuss my own experience with the ESP Who library. ESP Who enables fast and easy programming of applications in the area of face recognition. The SDK menu configuration allows flexible configuration of different development boards, but also individual own boards. If you use the existing display and camera drivers, you can create your own applications in high quality in a short time. ESP Who works hand-in-hand -hand with the free real-time OS library maintained by Amazon. The use of the free RTOS library simplifies event processing and multi-threading considerably. However, this simplicity is also bought with a higher PS RAM and flash memory consumption. Here at least 4 MB flash memory and 8 MB PS RAM are necessary to be able to develop useful applications. If you are familiar with the ESP IDF and free RTOS you can quickly adapt the included examples to your own board. At one or the other point, the examples could be optimized to use the resources better and to expand the range of functions. The examples and device drivers are certainly still improvable. All in all, it was a lot of fun to work with this quite modern library. In the comment section you will find links to the different libraries, SDK, and a face recognition project for the ESP32 cam. That's all for now folks.